Welcome to the Open Adex How to Video Series. This video is sponsored by Edgenext and presented by Juan Camilo Montoya, CEO. Checkboxes or multi-select are a type of problem in which the learner has to select all the correct answers from a list of possible options. From your unit in Studio, select the problem component, and when prompted for the problem type, choose multi-select and hit the select button. There are two editing modes for building these basic problems. The first one is the default mode, which provides a very intuitive user interface. First, you can change the name of the problem component at the top. Next, you will find the question section, where you can type and style the question with the visual text editor, including images, hyperlinks, and more as needed. Select the phrase that best represents your question and tag it with the label button so that this phrase is used to reference this specific problem. Next, there is the Answers section, where you can add the text for each possible option and check the box in all the options that the learner will need to choose. Using the Feedback icon, two separate feedback phrases can be added for each of the options. One for the learner to see if they select the option, and another one to be seen when the learner does not select the option. Your basic multi-select is now ready, but in the bar on the right, you will find some additional options you can leverage to refine the settings. The scoring card will let you set the number of attempts allowed and the total points this question will grant when correct. With the next card, you'll be able to add one or more hints for the learner to view before submitting the answer. You can also configure one or more group feedback that is, a message that will be displayed if the learner checks a specific set of the possible answer. Some more options will be available when you click the Show Advanced Settings. You can select when the correct answer can be seen by learners. You can provide a text with an explanation for learners to understand the correct answer. You can also enable a button for the learner to reset the response before submitting. And finally, you can specify the minimum acceptable time between consecutive attempts. The second editing mode is the advanced editor, which can be accessed by saving the problem first and then editing and clicking on this button in the corner. This will convert the problem to XML and HTML, so it will not be possible to access the simple editor anymore. But the advantage is that the XML format allows more flexibility to build the problem and configure advanced options, such as partial credit, which can be configured in two different methods, or the addition of custom scripts. Check out the platform documentation to learn more about these advanced options. After your problem is all set, you can use the Studio View to quickly test the problem or preview it in the LMS to confirm the appearance and behavior before publishing it. 